I would like to call upon stage Mr. Sanjeev Malhotra, CEO NASCOM Center of Excellence IoT, to deliver the welcome address. Mr. Sanjeev Malhotra. Sir, please. Good morning, everyone. Uh, what a pleasure to be here. Uh, every time we attend this event, you know, whether in Pune or in Bangalore, uh, we see almost a full house early in the morning. And, and that speaks to the importance of the topic and the theme of this event. Uh, and, uh, you know, I represent an organization which, is, uh, uh, which started out as a technology and software uh, uh, association or, or the representing 180 billion dollars of IT industry and still growing. Uh, and in a traditional sense, maybe 10 years ago, we would not have a place in so-called event called auto-specific connected cars and, or, or, or cars in particular. But these days, as somebody has already said, you know, cars are more like computers on, on wheels. Uh, and we had a pretty interesting obser uh, uh, observation from, uh, from the speaker this morning from Canada, and that also speaks about the about the diversity and the, uh, the, the reach we have as a part of this event. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit, talk about the initiatives and, the, and, and what we are trying to do together. Uh, uh, the platform that we have created here together with Manish and the one which we are trying to expand. Uh, the focus from the center of excellence uh, on IoT and AI that we created uh, about three years ago uh, which is a initiative, joint initiative between government of India and the industry. The idea behind that was these technologies, whether it is IoT, AI, robotics, uh, or, or of this machine learning and AR, VR, whatever these, these terms that we hear about, uh, are going to be a major driver for the economy as well as for the industry. Recognizing that, uh, we opened up multiple center of excellences on these technologies in different parts of the country, starting with Bangalore for the obvious reason. Uh, and we have had a tremendous response in each one of those from the industry and, and, and everybody recognizing outside the IT industry. Now, every, when I say outside IT, the, traditionally there will be two type of industries, IT companies and the companies, you know, which would be in the automobile sector or in the health sector or in the manufacturing sector or in the transport sector. Every company is turning into a tech company now. That's the change we are seeing. That's the, ch that's the drift we are seeing. So recognizing that, we find that all these companies the, whose technology needs had to be met, we have opened up a forum for innovation. Now, why I talk of innovation? because while we know that every company is turning into a technology company, every company has a need for adopting these te uh, technologies into their, into their organization. Some of them will be, become a standard, and some of them maybe have to be tailored to your needs. Every organization has different products, different processes, uh, and, 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 and different uh, uh, roadmaps. So innovation becomes a very key subject to to all of us. So recognizing that, we have opened up multiple forums as a part of this larger platform that, that you see here, where we bring in different parts of the ecosystem together and come up with some of the use cases, come up with some of the areas where some newer innovation has to be driven. Now how we do that is, is of course, the, another component of this whole thing is startups. Startups become very important when we talk of innovation. Uh, while innovation will happen everywhere, it will happen in large companies, small companies, but startups will have a special place in this whole ecosystem. Let me give you a small overview of the startup ecosystem in India and where is it heading and how important it is gonna be and what we are doing and how we can actually tap into it for our organizational uh, innovation goals. Now, India uh, is a third largest startup ecosystem in the world. Number one being United States, number two being China, and number three being India. 
And this is growing at a very rapid pace of 10 to 15 percent every year. And the larger growth is happening in the deep tech startups. Now, that being the case, uh, we have to see how we make this ecosystem very vibrant. Now, these startups have multiple needs. Of course, they, they, you, first of all, you need right people to start it, right good, good idea, and a good team to start a, start a new venture. Assuming that's there, we need good capital. You know, they need capital to do, do some, uh, to, to grow the team, to, to build upon the POC, which they may have done themselves. Third thing they need is somebody to actually try their products, a market for their products. That's the third thing. Uh, and, and fourth is, of course, they need some industry mentorship and industry connects to scale their products. So recognizing the needs, we have created a very large and a vibrant ecosystem which will take innovation from these startups, take it with their work with the industry, and have a two-way flow. And that ecosystem, or so-called way of working together, is called open innovation. When I talk of open innovation, what that means is no organization by itself will be sufficient to drive entire thing on their own. There are going to be so many use cases, so many technologies, so many applications. How does one organization possibly can do that? That's not going to happen. And given the pace of change that we are experiencing, it is not happening uh, at a rate what was happening 20 years ago. We see so many technologies moving and getting adopted at a rate which we have tough time comprehending, let alone innovate in that. If you can comprehend all that, understand all these things in detail, that itself is an achievement. And to solve that problem, we created this, this ecosystem for cent in, around center of excellences, where we have focused verticals in the areas, uh, you know, whether it is transport, logistics, and automobile, this is one forum. Healthcare is a separate forum. Manufacturing is another forum. Agriculture is a, another forum. This is the focused effort we are trying to put to bring the right people together and come up with how we make this place, this place as in India, to be a global innovation hub. India has been a global R&D destination for a lot of MNCs. That's already happening. Now what we want is India to be the global innovation hub. And to make that happen, we are, we are working towards this, this, this ecosystem that I talked about, the COEs, and, and, and working with organizations who can make it happen. It's not going to happen alone by us. Everybody has to contribute to it. And the partnership that we have with, with, with Manish and his organization, who has been doing a great work so far in driving this so-called telematics and, and, and uh, connected cars and autonomous car ecosystem, is fabulous, and industry response has been great. So as just Vivek uh, talk, talked about, it requires people from different part of the ecosystem. They are the car manufacturers, they are the uh, connectivity manufacturers, you know, BEP people who provide all this wireless connectivity or other forms of connectivity where some of the newer technologies uh, will be used or, or are coming up, you know, apart from the Bluetooth and the Zigbee's of the world where we need to have faster computing from the organizations like Intel and, and likes of it, and Qualcomm's. We have storage technology. It is very important. I mean, we may recognize storage in, in respect to computers, but when you're talking of intelligence in cars, these things become very important. You will not go to cloud every time to make a decision for, for any, any situation you're in. You want local decision, local computing, local storage. All the AI models will have to be so-called, what you hear is edge computing, will, is very important when it comes to cars. So technology players, the domain knowledge, the auto component manufacturers, uh, the, the associations, the, uh, and, 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 and the other experts, uh, either, even, even required from academia, all have to come together to drive this thing. So 
with that, I think I'll, uh, I, I also want to tell you that we launched a forum called Drift, uh, which is a driving into future with technology, a forum where we all contribute, you know, with the, with, 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 with the, with, with the participation from all the, all the right leaders. And the interest level that we have seen and the growth that is, that's taking place and some of the newer innovations we'll, that we'll be seeing in the next two days is going to be a testimony to the work that is already happening here. And with that, I'd like to congratulate Manish uh, and his team for putting a fabulous event. And together, we want to work towards making this place and very fruitful for everyone and, and everybody with, you know, with a focus on uh, not just discussing the, the, the networking and the standards and the policies that, that, that this forum will be driving. Uh, innovation will be another big focus for all of us. So once again, thank you very much for all being here and look forward to next two good days.